This is so full. All right. I was just getting ready to record the video and my dog kept, my dog Brewer kept begging to go out for a walk because we got a little bit of snow here in Tennessee in the last couple of days and it hasn't quite melted yet. And it's like his absolute favorite kind of weather. So he's been loving being out, but yeah, it's, it's like in the 20s. So I had to make some tea before I got started because I needed to warm back up a little bit. Okay, so what I wanted to do is like a little bit different than what I've done so far, but I got a lot of really cool things over the last couple of weeks and months, I guess. Um, some of it was for Christmas, some was just stuff I bought myself and I haven't opened yet. So I figured since a lot of it is kind of stuff for the home that I would just go ahead and open that all together and then um, maybe get to try some of it out a little bit later in this video too. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to open this stuff because I've been waiting for a while for it. <laughs> Alright, I think the real test is going to be whether or not I spill my tea while I'm trying to open this stuff. <laughs> Alright. So, this first thing that I got, um, I'm so excited for because I've always had a set of pots and pans that were um, nice, but I think they were like not meant to be like, you know, really good quality last few years and years kind of pots and pans. And just in the last few months, the ones we had just were not good anymore. Like they were chipping and um, stuff was peeling off of them. So I'd been wanting to buy a set and um, right before Christmas, I found a really cool set from Costco that I'm super excited about. It's supposed to be, um, oh my gosh, I researched these, but I don't even remember, but it's supposed to be like all like toxin free and all that stuff, which is what I was looking for. So we've literally had these for like three weeks, just sitting in the living room. I think this was in one of my other videos, just sitting in the middle of the living room, but I haven't opened it yet. So I'm really excited to actually open this all up and kind of look through it and then switch out my pots and pans and all of that. But it also just kind of reminds me of like the fact that I've been so excited for these and it's taking me like three weeks to open this. Um, it reminds me of when I was younger. I don't know if you guys did this too, but um, I used to get some presents for Christmas and like I remember one specifically, it was a bead set where you could make like necklaces and bracelets and all of that stuff with all these different beads. And I was like so excited to get this bead set, but I never ever once in like several years made a single necklace, earrings, bracelet, anything with it because I was like so worried about using the beads that I wanted to keep them nice. Um, so they just sat in a little container the whole time, but I would like take them out and play with the beads. But now looking back on it, I like my parents probably thought that I hated that gift because I never used it once, but it, in fact it was like, one of my favorite things. So I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm weird like that. Like I just leave things in the box for too long and stuff like that. I don't know. Do you guys do that too? Or is that just me? All right, here we go. Might need some help getting this out. It is a 14 piece set, but what I really liked about it is that it has like three different pots and then the three different pan sizes, but then it also has like a bigger pot and um, I'm Italian, so I make a decent amount of like pastas and things like that. And we just, we really don't have a lot of pots that are big enough to be boiling all that water and macaroni and everything a lot. So I was pretty excited to get these. Can't even get these out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 
I managed to get these all out of the box and unwrapped without spilling a single drop of my tea, which for me is a pretty big feat. But this is the whole set. I just wanted to lay it out. So it's 14 pieces and it has the three pans over here, the three pots, one bigger like pasta pot back there with the strainer. And then this really cool kind of like skillet pot over here. Um, I love using one of those for cooking lots of dinners and things like that. So I'm pretty excited for that. So this is the whole set and I'm super excited about it. Um, and one of the things I'm most excited about, like I said, our old set was kind of like not the best quality. So feeling these, these are like really substantial and heavy, like the handles really like nice and sturdy and they're just also so much bigger than what I had before. Like before what I was cooking omelets in was like our large pan and it was like almost the size of the small one. So this is going to be really cool. I'm so excited. Getting stuff like this just kind of like makes me feel more adult. I don't know if other people do that where you get like a really nice set of something or just kind of like upgrade something that you had before and you're like, yeah. <laughs> so that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> All right, so I have a couple more things that I was gonna share with you guys um, just to show you what I've got back here. I have my planner, which I was gonna um, plan to show you as well. <laughs> plan to plan. All right. In my head, this was a lot more <laughs> stuff than I am looking at right now. But, um, so some of the things that I got, I'm pretty excited. Um, my dad got me one of these. It is, it's called a mini chopper, but you can make things like um, salsas in there, guacamoles, um, like chop up breadcrumbs and things like that. And it's funny because I actually, I didn't ask for this for Christmas, but just in the last like month or so, I was kind of thinking it would be cool to have one of those. Um, so I'm excited that he got that for me because it's like he was reading my mind. So this is what it is, it has this little container where you can put everything in and there, and then the little chopper inside. It's almost like a little mini blender, but yeah, it's nice and small. So I'm excited to use this. So if you have one of these and there's like something you love making in it, let me know because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it yet, but I think, um, I think I'm going to find a lot of uses for it. So we'll see. Let me know what you use for, for. All right. Let's see. What else did I get? I got, I've never used Mrs. Myers before. I know I'm probably like five or 10 years too late to this party. Um, but my sister got me this whole set. They're all the basil scented um, dish soap. We got the multi-surface spray and the hand soap as well. So I'm excited um, to switch out some of the stuff that I have because I'm actually like just about out of everything and I really don't like the stuff that I've been using. So I'm excited for that. Also got these bamboo wooden holder um, dish brushes. So they came in a set of three. I think these were just from Amazon. And then they have like a little dish. So when you're using one of them, you can just put it up next to your kitchen sink. Super excited about those, like way more than I should be. <laughs> Um, and then my husband actually got me a new Brit Brita set. Um, I have, you might have seen it in some of my other videos, but I have a Brita pitcher that is, I think it's meant for just like a single person, but I actually got it in college because it was the only one that would fit in my um, dorm room refrigerator. So I've still been using that and that's been what, like 15 years later. So um, my husband finally got me a new like, filters and then the new Brita set um, that's actually meant for like, you know, more than two glasses of water so I don't have to be filling it up 15 times a day. So that was really thoughtful because he knows how much, like I drink water nonstop, it's tea and water all day long. Um, so I'm really excited to get new filters and do all of that and switch that out too. And also I don't like my water cold. So I know that's like probably weird for some people. I know a lot of people have the um, thing in your refrigerator where you can get the filtered water, but for some reason ours just doesn't work. Like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea why, but um, so I like leaving that out on the counter and just having that um, room temperature all the time. 
And then the last thing I got is this um, set. It's a nested storage container. So um, I actually got this at Target at the dollar spot, but I saw this and at first I didn't know what I'd be able to use it for, but then I was thinking, um, I've really been wanting something kind of like cuter to store our tea in. So I'm hoping this will work for tea. Yeah. This out. So we have um, two of these and hopefully I can put these out on the counter. So we'll get those as well. That's all my stuff. Okay, so I wanted to show you my planner because I'm super big on planners. I've tried doing the online thing with my phone and everything, and it just doesn't work for me. Like, I have to have a planner. So I love this one. I've used it several years, and then last year, I thought I didn't need a planner, and then by April, I'm like, nope, definitely need one. So I just bought, like, a cheap one off of Amazon, and it was just not the same. So this year I'm going back to my passion planner. Um, I think this is like probably seventh or eighth year I've used this one, but I wanted to share it with you just in case you were looking for a really cool one and something like this worked for you too. So it actually, it came with this progress over perfection sticker that I put on top. Um, just cause it was kind of funny that this was the sticker that it came with this year. Usually there's something else like one year it was just start something, you know, they always have like little um, motivational stickers. And it was funny that this was this year's because that's kind of like my motto, I guess. Um, sometimes it takes me a really long time to get things started because I'm just like worried about them kind of like being perfect or, you know, I don't want to mess them up or do whatever. So I'm trying really hard to just go ahead and dive in get some progress done, knowing that done is better than perfect. So that's why I put it right on front, just as a daily reminder for myself. And when you open it up, it has a little intro page. And with the Passion Planner, one of their big things is working on goal setting and kind of keeping you on track throughout the whole year, rather than just kind of like creating a vision board at the beginning of the year and then not doing anything. So it has you do all of these um, what they call a passion roadmap. So you kind of like write out your wish list for what your three months, one year, three years, lifetime goals are. And then um, it has you come up with game changers. So like the one big thing that's going to make a big difference in your life this year, and then kind of like break those out into smaller goals. And then it encourages you to kind of go through and put those all in, in your planner throughout. So that's in here. If you're really into like goal planning, this is a super awesome planner. I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what it looks like on the inside. So it's a weekly planner. So it has, you know, Monday through Sunday. You can also get it starting Sunday through Saturday if you want to. Um, but what I really like about it is it has all of the times listed here. So it starts at 6 a.m., goes all the way to 1030 p.m. But for me, I really like having this because then I can like actually block out certain time rather than just kind of like saying, hey, on this day, we're going to do these things. Um, this just keeps me way more organized. And there's a little section for what you want to focus on this week. Good things that happen. So if you want to do like gratitude or something like that, you can put that in there. Little quotes, things like that. Then there's like um, kind of like a to-do list. I like that it breaks it out into personal and then work stuff. But even cooler, um, it says like Aaron's priority, top priority. But if you want to change it up and do something else, you can like if you have something for your kids or maybe you're like, going back to school and you're doing, you know, schoolwork or work, whatever it is that you want to like break it out into, you can kind of like have those as like your individual tasks, which I really like. And then it has this big blank space that you can do stuff on. Um, up here in the today's focus box, I like to write like a big thing that's going on that day. So like if there's somebody's birthday or I don't know, just like something like I have an appointment that day, I'll put those in there so I don't forget. And then the cool thing too, this one comes with this little tab divider so you can easily get to the page for today. Um, there is also a version of the, the roadmap, uh, the passion planner, sorry, with without the rings in it. And it just has kind of like a book journal kind of feel to it. 
Um, but I do like that this one with the rings has this cool um, little ruler in here because I do all kinds of, like I'm always grabbing my ruler to write like lines for different things. I'm, I don't know, I'm always drawing in here. <laughs> so that's a cool addition. And I just wanted to mark off a couple of pages to show you guys. Oh, after the weekly, then they have at the end of every month, they have this reflection. So there's different questions you can go through. There's like, what were the three biggest lessons you learned this past month? Um, who or what were you especially grateful for? All that kind of stuff. So you can kind of review. And then it has you go back through and do kind of like reset your goals, check on your progress, see where you've been, and then like fill it in for the next month, which is cool. Then it has the next month's layout after that. Um, Again, you can kind of like fill in some different boxes to figure out, you know, what works best for you, but they have like a things to learn, places to go, people to see. I don't really use those too, too much. Um, but sometimes like if I have a big goal for the month, I'll kind of like draw that out in here. And then from there, it just kind of like starts, you know, the new, the new month. So that's cool. It goes all throughout the year and then I'm to show you guys the end. So at the end of the year after December, it has an end of the year reflection. Um, so it's kind of just some like more broad general kinds of things. See where you are with your goals. How did 2022 go? I hope it was awesome for you. <laughs> um, and then it has some like blank pages. I have books that I want to read this year, YouTube video ideas, some self-care stuff. So just a lot of like spaces to you know, make lists or doodle or whatever. So there's the blank pages, but then I don't know if you can see that either, but there's like the dotted grid um, pages in here too, like for a, a bullet journal. So that's cool if you need to like, you know, if you want to make graphs for something like you're trying to meet a financial goal or whatever, you can kind of like fill in stuff or you're doing a habit tracker, you can use that to color in little areas. And then at the very end, it's cool because it has this little pocket. So if there's like little, I don't know, like photos, stickers, cards, whatever you get throughout the year and you want to put those in there, you can do that. So yeah, just wanted to share that planner because I absolutely love this. Um, and so if you're looking for one still, I know it's a little bit, most people have theirs already, but if you're still looking for one, I highly, highly recommend the Passion Planner. Right here, I actually had to stop and pause for lunch because I was absolutely starving. So while I did that, I went ahead and cleaned all of the new pots and pans that I had. That way they were ready to put away. And man, look at those old pans. I'm so excited to get rid of those. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you. 
I decided to go ahead and try my Mrs. Meyers cleaning the multi-surface spray right here just to see how it would do and I'm really impressed with how long the scent lasts. Um, I've been smelling it all day since I recorded this. But now I'm just putting the, the pans back in and I'm putting little um, felt pieces in between and I actually got those from the dollar store but I need a whole lot more of them because I only had a couple that were big enough so you see me here using paper towels to put in between. I just do not want these new pans scratched so I'm gonna have to get something to put in between them but this will do for now. Okay, so that was all I had for this video today. Oh man, I'm looking at these in the little... <laughs> I tried to make my hair like semi-cute today and then Brewer wanted to go out for the walk and because it was 20, like five degrees, I had to put a hat on and it like messed my whole hair up and then I was trying to do the wisps to be cute, wisps. <laughs> but I have really curly hair and they just, I feel like I'm going to prom in like 1999. <laughs> Not cute. Anyway, um, that was all I had for this video today. Um, just wanted to share some of the new things that I got in the last couple of weeks and I'm super excited to now have in my kitchen and get a little bit of that cleaned up. But I am hoping I'm gonna have another video coming out um, later in this week. So make sure that you subscribe if you enjoy this type of content um, because I'll have lots more coming not just this week but also um, in the next several weeks as well too. So I hope you subscribe and introduce yourself down below. I love getting to meet you guys. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.